I thought about this question a lot as to why this information was hidden from me. South Korean society and therefore the immigrants who come from there to places like the United States, like my family, it is organized based on honor and shame. So there are these societies that tend to be more collectivistic, meaning that the unit that we analyze and we understand is not the individual, but it's the family. My father would come after work and he would make us study, make us do our homework. He would educate us as best as he can. And after a few hours, he left. I realized he was actually going to his home, his first home, the home with his first wife, I presumed, and whatever family he had there. And I actually thought that was normal too. Me personally, I was always a curious child and I always asked a lot of questions. But in the manners of the heart and family, I was supposed to just accept things as they were. The notion is that you have to be in the world in a way that brings honor to the family and not bring shame to the family. Shame thrives in silence, secrecy, and judgment. So why it was hidden? I think the first part is my mom felt ashamed. I don't want to say that I was happy. I do not want to besmirch the name of the deceased, but as a kid and what image I had of my father, when I heard that news, I was, I was relieved. I was very relieved. But who did you want to forgive?